Hey guys, let's continue our journey with the Matildas and learn more about Calpia. All right, everyone in. Thank you. And get in on one. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a straggler. A straggler is someone who is late to the party. Everyone looks so glamorous and beautiful. So the upcoming match is against Canada. Stakes are now high after losing that first match to Canada. Stakes are now high. We use the word stakes to talk about a potential risk for things to go wrong. Stakes are high. This is going to be a crucial match. This is a trial of whether Tony's plan is coming off. This is a test to see what the Matildas can do against top ranked sides. This is a test to see how the Matildas do against top ranked sides. And this is also a taste of what's to come at next year's World Cup. No, no, no issues whatsoever on the bench. Obviously, Alana is out. She's not even on the on the bench, and Steph couldn't make it, so Steph is out as well. Yeah, they had an MRI on her hamstring, so she has a minor hamstring issue. So hopefully she can be back. It sounds like the player has picked up an injury. And this is the phrase that I want you to learn, to pick up an injury. So unfortunately, she can't make the game. It's just a buzz when you're driving into the game. You just get this energy when like you see the green and gold and they like lift us. The buzz, which means the enthusiasm, the energy of all the good vibes lifts you. Having a crowd there, knowing that people are watching, it excites me a lot more and that is a healthy amount of pressure to have. It is good to deal with a healthy amount of pressure. Because if there is no pressure whatsoever, if there are no challenges in life, I believe we can get complacent. We can be a little lazy. So a healthy amount of pressure is always good. If I don't have any pressure, I get a bit lazy because I'm a bit bored. <laughs> We're all big Sam Kerr fans. I've got to say Fowler as well from the yeah. Olympics, like it's just gotten better and better from there as well. And Gori since coming back, she's been incredible. I think she's going to be our X Factor for World Cup. It's really cool to see these dudes barrack for the Matildas. They support the Matildas. To barrack for a team means to root for them, to support them. These words are mostly used in Australian English. I'm, I'm outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Mary plays her best when she's welcomed and around people that care about her. He's very attached to that. Oh, so gave me one job. <laughs> okay, here we go. This team cares about her and allows her to be whatever she wants to be on the field. So it's probably nice for her to come back here. When Mary feels emotionally supported and welcome, she plays her best football. The midfield is where, you know, a lot of things happens. So we're coming in today with a really strong mindset wanting to win this one. Yeah, she is a midfielder. She's not a striker nor a person who plays on the defensive line. So it's really important to play her best to have that strong mindset because the midfield is where a lot of things happen. <laughs> It's pretty cool in here. I think this is like the busiest Matilda's game we've seen in a long time. 
And that's the video lesson for today. I hope you have learned a good number of words from this lesson. Keep an eye out for future lessons on the Matildas. Catch up.